2022 Regional Edward R. Murrow Award for Excellence in Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for the Culture Club. KUAM News Hotspot is brought to you by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. Well, hey, nice to see you over there. Man, is it 11 o'clock already? It must be because we are KUAM and if we are coming to you now live on YouTube and on Facebook. That means it's time for the hotspot where we show you everything that's happening about Guam, make you really, really proud and happy to live on this wonderful island of ours and be part of our amazing island community. Let us take a look in the menu of what we have on the show today because it is Tuesday. It's Health, Home and Lifestyle. And in weekly renewal, our dear friend Claire Calvo has details to the upcoming Kick the Fat Run. It is the largest 5K on the island. I know a bunch of people that are already registered and we are going to tell you all about it with Claire. In Health Check, we find a simple prescription for those who sit for long periods of time at work. Software developer here and everything. I know all about that. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that story. And we are going to chat with Liz and Gina for house to home who's afraid of the big bad mortgage you should not be and we're going to tell you why that is coming up all right but i want to get to the story about long sitting periods because for health check if part of your plan for the new year has been to get up to move around to increase your heart rate to increase the blood flow we have some tips for you right now for health check about why if you were that person who is a little bit more on the sedentary side and you sit a lot at work how you can actually combat that and get some movement here we go Health Check is presented to you by the Medical City. On the path to a healthier life. So how hard does this exercise feel for you? New research shows some quick strolls throughout the day can go a long way. Scientists have known for years that spending too much time sitting can increase the risk for heart disease, diabetes, even some forms of cancer. More cognitive tests. But Dr. Keith Diaz at Columbia University Irving Medical Center says his new research is revealing a simple solution. We found a five minute light walk every half hour offset many of the harms from sitting. The study adds to growing evidence that breaking up prolonged sitting is necessary, even if someone exercises on a daily basis. Why'd you decide to, to even get involved with the study? Uh, because I had a major change of life. I retired. Stephen Solomon says without the daily commute to the office or the activities after work, he found himself just sitting around a lot more. So I have to kind of self-manage this, but in order to do this, you, you need to know what's helpful. Researchers say you don't need to do anything too rigorous. Just a slow walk like that can make a surprising difference. Taking a walking break every half hour and walking for five minutes reduced the blood sugar spike by 60%. Those are levels that are similar to what you'd see if someone were using insulin injections or diabetic medications to control blood sugar. But the team recognizes that may not work for everyone which is where their current research comes in. I think the goal is for people to say, okay, based off of my lifestyle, based off of the work that I do, this is a strategy that I need to use. Not a magic pill, but maybe a more helpful prescription to put many of us back on the right track. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York. All right, fitness enthusiasts and Guamanians who just want to get out and have some fun, Saturday is going to be a very, very big day. By the way, Saturday, St. Baldrick's, we're coming back, and that is later on in the day, starting from 10 to 1 at GPO. But earlier in that day, as Claire Cavill now tells us in Weekly Renewal, there is the Kick the Fat event. Registration was last weekend, and this year proves to be the biggest and best of them all. Weekly Renewal is brought to you by Calvo Select Care. Hop a day. I'm Claire Calvo bringing you your weekly renewal. Today I am here with the president of the Pay Less Community Foundation, Marie Benito. Welcome, Marie. Thank you. Hop a day. Me. So we're all excited. This is what it's been two years since Kick the Fat, or three, this will be the third that Kick the Fat is now back live rather than virtual. Our last live event was in 2020, so we had the last two years virtual and we are so excited to start again with our live uh, Kick the Fat 5K, 10K and it will be on March 18th. March 18th, okay. When was the first Kick the Fat? Oh gosh, this is the 27th year of Kick the Fat. Um, so that would be 96, right? Somewhere around math. there. Yeah. The 20th so, century. <laughs> yeah. We've had um, 
seen it grow and you know our mission initially was to promote some non-fat items our craft distributor and now we've grown to become uh, health oriented uh, fitness uh, oriented and trying to meet our mission of building the quality of life for residents of Guam and, and you have done an exceptional job thank but you. it's interesting you say that about cutting out the fat because Look how much in the, over the span of 27 years. It's not so much like when we look at food and ingredients, it's not even so much about, in fact, there's healthy fats that we're supposed to be taking in, right, for our brain right, health and right. all of that. So it's incredible, but I guess it still makes sense because overall, and especially these past few years during the pandemic, how it has shown that shedding the fat from our bodies, you know, we're a lot better off. Right, right. so our focus mainly is just to provide um, healthy outlet for residents of Guam through our 5k 10k but also we want to give back to the community through our kick the fat grant funding our mini grant fund uh, will benefit this year five nonprofit organizations we have Guam Baseball Academy Guam Football Association Guam Hospital Volunteers Association Total Guam and Varro that's nice, you have a wide range, and I like the fact that there's two in there. With my son playing soccer and, you know, a few of the other kids, it's great to know that it's also going back for the kids' sports. Oh, yes. We've got, uh, we're excited. Our event will, uh, has kicked off with early registration. Uh, we begin open registration on January 23rd through March 11. March 11, late registration, uh, that will be packet pickup day. And uh, we just encourage our community to come out and join us for a, an exciting event, uh, exciting morning. Yeah, so the, the kick the fat, the 5K, it's going to be a 5K and a 10K or just a 5K? We have a, both a 5K and a 10K. So the 10K will start at 545 mm -hmm. um, and 15 minutes later we'll begin the, the, I'm sorry, the 10K begins at 545 and the 5K at uh, 6 o'clock. And then afterwards, will there still be the health fair? We'll have refreshments, we'll have uh, door prizes, but our health fair will actually take place uh, at the packet pickup on March 11, the week before. Okay. So traditionally you'd see tents set up and the whole health fair on the day of the race. We're gonna go ahead and push it forward one week and we're setting up at the um, Tizen, Guam basketball, national basketball. So it'll be indoors. For the it'll be indoors, okay. um, and that'll be the last day to register. Okay, great. So. Thank you so much. We're You're very looking welcome. forward to it. And thank you all. We'll see you next time. Weekly Renewal is brought to you by Calvo Select Care. All right, really, really wonderful connection there. Claire and Marie doing amazing work. By the way, I know you guys remember this, Marie Benito, a very, very proud member, a Olympian that competed in the 1996 Games of the Olympiad in Athens, Georgia. That's when Dream Team 2 played. I remember I was watching that and I was super, super proud to see a fellow Guamanian compete at the highest level. Okay, I'm gonna stretch for a little bit, so uh, just indulge me for a moment. Remember, because I told you, St. Baldrick's is coming back this Saturday and we wanna see you there. We've been running the commercials, we've been putting uh, the video on Instagram. We will be there from 10 in the morning until one in the afternoon because we will be shaving our heads. I'm getting mine done Thursday right here on the show. But more importantly, we are taking donations because we want to help as a community, as a family, as one island voice, conquer kids' cancers. The St. Baldrick's Foundation is something that we here support at KUM with all of our hearts and all the members of the KUM Care Force believe this so much. We want to raise money so that we can help um, cancer patients locally who are children who are going through the fight of their lives. We absolutely stand by you. So if you're watching this and you are affected, please come down to GPO. If you don't want to get your head shaved, I mean, it's not scary. You can do it. It's fun. Uh, you'll be part of this amazing community. You'll look fantastic, by the way. So uh, come on down if you want to be part of that. But most importantly, if you can, please consider making a donation. You can also go uh, right now on KUAM.com and we put the link there if you would like to either register to be shaved or make a donation because the money will go towards helping children with cancer. Also, our local beneficiary is, of course, the Edward M. Calvo Cancer Foundation. Uh, They're very, very generous and they're helping local families through the fight of their lives. So also, we want to send a shout out to our friends at the GCC Cosmetology Program for being the shavers, as well as our friends in the Insurance Association of Guam. None of this 
could be possible, and especially GPO, without the help of all of these amazing partners who have been down since moment one. So it's gonna be an amazing time, and we humbly ask that you come by and participate. St. Baldrick's 10 to 1 GPO this Saturday. Thank you, everybody. All right, we are gonna take a quick break, but when we come back, we're gonna tell you what's happening all around the island. I told you that was a stretch. Remember, St. Baldrick. Thank you, Jacob. All right, News Bites is coming up after this. Days. As you all know, our island's had a very successful year. And I'd love to hear about all of the progress we've made. Skyler, why don't we start with you? We've helped over 1,200 Guam kids and their families pay for childcare. And that's over $5.5 million in childcare costs so far. Over 130 after school and community care programs have received grant funding for programs like swimming. And cycling. And soccer. And jiu-jitsu. We've also graduated three cohorts. And our provider certification program at GCC. And certified over 75 relative care providers. Looks like we have a messaging coming from headquarters. Hi kids, I just want to say congratulations on all your successes this past year. Thank you, Governor Lou. We couldn't have done it without you. Keep up the great work. He's ready for recess. This ad is paid for with funds administered by the Department of Public Health and Social Services. The One Micronesia Show, Sundays on the stations and digital platforms of KUAM Communications. Join me, Victoria Spahn, for one-on-one -on -one interviews with Micronesians in our region and around the world doing amazing things and representing our community. Plus, I'll be sharing different looks at our diverse cultures, languages, food, and much more. And as a special treat and a way to end the show, we're hooking you up with a musical performance every month with a one mic jab sesh. Sharing music from all over the Micronesian region. It's sharing our common world because we are one Micronesia. Only Pizza Hut lets you surround your favorite pizza with greatness. The one and only stuffed crust pizza tempts your taste buds with melted cheese stuffed inside that amazing crust. And at just $18.99 with one topping, the stuffed crust pizza is truly irresistible. So grab your slice of pizza perfection with cheesy goodness baked right into the crust. The stuffed crust pizza, just $18.99 with one topping. Only at Pizza Hut, the island's best. The KUAM Care Force and St. Baldrick's Foundation present the return of the Great Shaveathon on Saturday, March 18th. We'll be shaving heads to build hope, awareness, and to raise funds in the fight against childhood cancer from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Guam Premier Outlets in Tamuning. Please gather friends, family, classmates, co-workers, or even total strangers as you show your support to end childhood cancer and brave the shave with us this year. All proceeds raised will benefit the St. Baldrick's Foundation, as well as our local beneficiary, the Edward M. Calvo Cancer Foundation. Special thanks to GPO and the GCC Cosmetology Program. Join us on Saturday, March 18th from 10 to 1. Sign up to be a Shavy or just show your support in the fight against childhood cancer. For more information, visit stbaldricks.org slash events slash Guam. KUEM News, winner of the 2022 Regional Edward R. Murrow Award for Excellence in Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for the Culture Club. All right, I want to send a special shout out to my friend of many, many years, Jacob Sablon, who is our technical director today, running the reins, and he, he is absolutely crushing the show. Shout out, Jake. Good job. He can hear me, right? There you go. Yes, of course. <laughs> All right, we are now going to get to News Bites, which will bring you a roundabout look at uh, much more pressing issues that are happening in our island community. First off, our friends at Atkins Kroll Incorporated, of course, an Inchcape company, are celebrating 55 years of service in the CNMI. They held a groundbreaking ceremony for the AK Toyota Lexus showroom in Puerto Rico in Saipan. Very well done to our friends there at AK up north. All right, moving back to Guam, the Leon Guerrero administration announced the addition of two new buses to the fleet for the Guam Regional Transit Authority, bringing a total of 21 buses, which are wheelchair compatible. 
the vans they are, to improve public transportation service to the people of Guam. Outstanding news, so congratulations to our friends for getting those fleet, getting that fleet on the road. The Port Authority of Guam down in PD held a groundbreaking ceremony for the waterline replacement and relocation project, part of the agency's program to modernize its operations. Not an easy thing to do. The port, of course, a massive operation, very, very big, uh, lots of technology there, so congratulations to our friends for getting that up and running. Now, the Guam High Student Government Association, in honor of Miss Tomorrow, presents Tomorrow Fest. The event takes place on Saturday, the 18th. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on on Saturday. We said to kick the fat of St. Baldrick's and now Tomorrow Fest. 11 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon, open to the public and will feature many vendors. It's a voluntary entrance fee, which goes to benefit earthquake relief programs in Syria and Turkey. So well done by these young Guamanians in taking part of our fellow, uh, fellow members of mankind. You can also donate sanitary products, which will be donated to the island's homeless. So that stays right here on the island. Again, if you missed anything from News Bites, you can check out our Instagram story. Just go to Instagram.com slash KUM News. Give us a follow too. And you know what? Most importantly, make sure to follow KUM CNMI for all of Tomas Manglo News reporting for everything that is happening up north in the NMI. All right. When we come back, I am talking to Liz Duenas and Gina Campos from Renax Diamond Realty Guam. And we are going to talk about everything you need to know about mortgages. They're not scary. And Liz and Gina are going to tell you why next. Get up to the minute news, plus access to alerts, streaming radio, promotions, and more on your mobile device by downloading the KUAM News mobile app, available at the App Store now. It is. As you all know, our island's had a very successful year. And I'd love to hear about all of the progress we've made. Skyler, why don't we start with you? We've helped over 1,200 Guam kids and their families pay for childcare. And that's over $5.5 million in childcare costs so far. Over 130 after school and community care programs have received grant funding for programs like swimming. And cycling. And soccer. And jiu-jitsu. We've also graduated three cohorts. And our provider certification program at GCC. And certified over 75 relative care providers. Looks like we have a messaging coming from headquarters. Hi kids, I just want to say congratulations on all your successes this past year. Thank you, Governor Lou. We couldn't have done it without you. Keep up the great work. He's ready for recess. This ad is paid for with funds administered by the Department of Public Health and Social Services. The One Micronesia Show, Sundays on the stations and digital platforms of KUAM Communications. Join me, Victoria Spahn, for one-on-one -on -one interviews with Micronesians in our region and around the world doing amazing things and representing our community. Plus, I'll be sharing different looks at our diverse cultures, languages, food, and much more. And as a special treat and a way to end the show, we're hooking you up with a musical performance every month with the One Mic Jab Sesh. Sharing music from all over the Micronesian region. It's sharing our common world because we are One Micronesia. Only Pizza Hut lets you surround your favorite pizza with greatness. The one and only stuffed crust pizza tempts your taste buds with melted cheese stuffed inside that amazing crust. And at just $18.99 with one topping, the stuffed crust pizza is truly irresistible. So grab your slice of pizza perfection with cheesy goodness baked right into the crust. The stuffed crust pizza, just $18.99 with one topping. Only at Pizza Hut, the island's best. The KUAM Care Force and St. Baldrick's Foundation present the return of the Great Shaveathon on Saturday, March 18th. We'll be shaving heads to build hope, awareness, and to raise funds in the fight against childhood cancer from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Guam Premier Outlets in Tumuning. Please gather friends, family, classmates, co-workers, or even total strangers as you show your support to end childhood cancer and brave the shave with us this year. 
All proceeds raised will benefit the St. Baldrick's Foundation as well as our local beneficiary, the Edward M. Calvo Cancer Foundation. Special thanks to GPO and the GCC Cosmetology Program. Join us on Saturday, March 18th from 10 to 1. Sign up to be a Shavy or just show your support in the fight against childhood cancer. For more information, visit stbaldricks.org slash events slash Guam. It is time now for House to Home, where I sit down with two of my very, very dear friends, two amazing local women who have forgotten more about Guam real estate than most of us will ever know. By the way, they haven't forgotten a lot. They've still got all the institutional knowledge right up there. And today we are talking about understanding the true nature of the mortgage. House to Home, presented by REMAX Diamond Realty. Tuesday means that we are talking about real estate and more importantly, we are helping you make an informed decision. And, and is there any better kind than having the education, the experience, and uh, quite honestly, the confidence to know that what you're doing is the right thing to do. And Liz and Gina are joining me from Remax Diamond Realty Guam as they help you uh, to basically navigate these often treacherous waters of real estate. So ladies, half a day. And Gina, you actually specifically picked today's topic because you are talking about more, we are talking about mortgages today, right? Ooh, the M word. The M word. It's a, it's a great word. Shoots. Without mortgages, I go word. messy. It's no, the, the, okay. Perfect, it's perfect point word. by Gina. Like the mortgages are not a bad word. They can be a little bit intimidating. I get it. They can be kind of psychologically scary, but do not give up mortgages for Lent. Yeah. No. no. Gosh, why would you ever want to give up a mortgage when you can use someone else's money to to buy a home, to enrich yourself, to invest. I mean, isn't that the ultimate, right? Is use someone else's money to do all this. And that's always been my goal. Shoots, I don't have much of my own, so I need a mortgage. Okay, so let, yeah, let's talk about that. So when, when you actually secure a mortgage, that means you've been through the sequence of events that both of you have like, have brilliantly educated us on for the past nine years, we've been doing this segment about securing the money, proving to the bank that you are in fact trustworthy, that they can they can grant you that loan. You've worked with your realtor to identify the property. And now you actually have a contract between you and your lender to say that, you know, in order to own this property or live in it at the very least, um, you are the owner of this uh, this mortgage, typically for 30 years. But not all mortgage deals are the same, right, Gina? And you can actually get a very, very um, fortuitous uh, deal out of this. They're not, they're not all the same. The requirements are not all the same. And that's, you know, that's what Liz and I are trying to do is educate the public. So, you know, to understand the concept that the more, the mortgage lenders, number one, aren't the same. They seem to, d to offer different products. And even for the same loan, the interest rates vary from lender to lender. Mm -hmm. So that's what, you know, and that's where we come in. That's what Liz and I are trying to do is, really educate the public and then for our customers who are working with us educate our individual customers and and guide them to the right lender the mm -hmm. right product now liz very often and we've talked about the interest rate and like what the feds are doing um in recent times people tend to use that as a barometer towards you know should i actually um you know pull the string and make this deal happen and actually get a mortgage uh but it's it sh you shouldn't basically say based on what the interest rate is right now that's the ultimate decision. There's a lot more information that goes into that. There's a lot more information and it's, you know, we've been talking about this for the past two shows, but we feel that it's very important now. Uh, we were expecting the interest rates to drop a bit more, but it it's pretty much stayed stable, you know, at six point, what is it, Gina, 6.7 right now in terms of the interest rates, but you need to really shop for a lower rate. And, you know, the old days, we used to, when I started real estate, you had to have 20% down as a payment. And now um, it's changed where you're able to get a 90-10 loan or a 95, you know, 5% down. And then there's also a 97-3, which is 3% down. But of course, on top of these uh, fees that you put down, there's additional costs. But I think what's happening in today's market is because of the interest rates, your mortgage monthly payment has increased quite a bit. Like if you were able to pay 1500 or 1700, now instead of paying those fees due to the interest rates, you're paying 2400, 2500, which is out of reach 
And on top of that, your uh, qualifications may have dropped based on, uh, you know, because of the monthly payments. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> what Gina and I are saying is be sharp, work with a realtor that will help you shop for the interest rates. And Gina was just saying that her her buyer found a uh, interest rate of 3.8 at one bank. It's, wow. it's an adjustable rate but that was fixed for a 10 year period. But when you get an interest rate that low, what happens is your monthly payment drops. So I did some comparisons that uh, like a $2,400 payment at 6.78 for let's say $350,000 loan, if you got a 4.38% loan or a lower rate, your monthly payment drops to 1700 something. So again, you can see from 1700 to 2400 or if your loan was 450000 that is about 2800 for a monthly payment. And if you got a lower rate, you could probably drop that to 2100 And like we've said on the show before, you know, the, the numbers that you're throwing out and the way that you're arriving at them, this is not differential calculus. You know, anyone can do this. It's it's basically like simple arithmetic. And you can you can clearly see when you have a deal that you probably should act upon. That's right. And it's about shopping. And uh, for you as a, a lay person running around, sometimes it's overwhelming and inundated with facts and figures. But if you have a good realtor helping you through the process, uh, they can refer you to different banks that have lower interest rates or adjustable rates and kind of explain if you did this, this is what your monthly payments will look like. And then after a period of time, you can refinance it. So there's so many obstacles through the process, but a good realtor could help you through the, the what is it, the pitfalls um, and help you through that process. Now, Gina, my, qu my next question is because you have intimate knowledge of this you know, case, like you were saying. So if the interest rate is in fact like around 6.2, it's hovering around there, which it is, but that that buyer that was just mentioned, you know, got a deal of a um, adjustable rate mortgage at what? Three point eight, three point seven five, three point seven five. OK, I was rounding up. Sorry. Um, and they got three point seven five. What were the criteria that that buyer had about their own financial portfolio or their or their like, let's call it like their fitness to be able to qualify for that? And could, could the same ha thing happen to me? Yeah, it you're and and you know you're correct in calling it fitness. It is a fitness test. Um, you know, and and that fitness test, the most important part of the fitness test is your credit score. Um, and Liz pointed that out without a, a very strong I, I'm noticing the lenders will say, okay, if your credit score is from this number to this number, we can offer you this rate. From this number to this, it's this rate. So absolutely, the higher your credit score, the lower you're able to negotiate with the lender for a better interest rate, not on the fixed uh, rate mortgages, of course, because, you know, that's that's why they're called fixed rates. Mm -hmm. It's going to be locked in at that rate. You might be able to buy a discount, yes. but but that's something, you know, we could get into. But But I think what we're trying to stress is that, you know, with our years of experience in real estate, we have been through these loan processes with our buyers over and over again. Over time, we've learned what you could do to negotiate with the lenders, what is negotiable. And then from there, we know which lender is offering what products. So like, for instance, my customer, what I did in advance, I already knew they were looking at the home. I already, you know, had information about what they were able to put down. And, and possibly their credit score, right? I mean, I didn't have the number, but I had a, you know, we had an understanding of what it might be. Mm -hmm. And so from there, as they looked at homes, I was in the background shopping for mortgage lenders. The One Micronesia Show, Sundays on the stations and digital platforms of KUAM Communications. Join me, Victoria Spahn, for one-on-one -on -one interviews with Micronesians in our region and around the world doing amazing things and representing our community. Plus, I'll be sharing different looks at our diverse cultures, languages, food, and much more. And as a special treat and a way to end the show, we're hooking you up with a musical performance every month with the One Mic Jam Sesh, sharing music from all over the Micronesian region. 
It's sharing our common world because we are One Micronesia. All right, everybody, we are absolutely out of time. Perfect time. Well done, Jacob. Jake Sublime, once again, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Daniel Perez, to all the guys in the back, making sure that this show comes to you. Looks great, sounds good. I got the easiest job. I just sit here and I just talk to you guys. All right, from all of us here at KUM, have a wonderful lunch, and we will see you tomorrow.